What is up guys? Today we are back with episode 3 of Battle Spot Blast. So as of right now, our rating isn't looking too good, but that's partially because of a string of disconnects that we've had, and I guess it's also partially due to losing. So first off, we have a Meowstic, a Muck, an Aerodactyl, probably the Mego, not sure though, Marsh- or no, I uh, Swampert, sorry, a Feraligator, probably Sheer Force, and a Sceptile to end it off. So, I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to bring... Okay, we're obviously going to be bringing... Um, oh, geez. We don't have a whole lot of answers to this. So we're going to be bringing Amoongus for sure. Because Amoongus is going to help out a lot. I think Slurpuff might be able to sweep for us. We're going to try a few things out. Because these this is a team I am not familiar with in the slightest. But I do think it might do well. And I have a couple reasons for thinking that. But I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet how it's going to go. So, we're going to bring, uh, as our starters, we're going to bring Amoongus and Slurpuff, and if we can get a sweep right off the bat, I would be so happy, because this is an uh, Citrus Berry, Unburden, Belly Drum, Slurpuff. So, hopefully they're not expecting that, they don't know what it is. I I'm just kind of banking on that at this point. At the lower tiers, I'm sure that it's going to be like that. Um, I wouldn't really expect people to know what it is. I certainly did not, especially before I um, met against it. So, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do here, but I think we might be fine. I think, I think we definitely have a chance. Amoongus can use Rage Powder, possibly pick up a couple attacks, um, even sacrifice itself because at this point it would definitely be worth it to get the setup. So we will start off with that Amoongus and Slurpuff against who? Uh, Meowstic and Feraligatr. So, maybe not expecting this, maybe expecting this, we might see some ice move off of Feraligator. I'm sure it knows, like, Ice Punch or something. Um, with a sheer force, I'm kind of scared of that, but we might be able to pull something out here. I think it's certainly possible and reasonable to think that we can pull something out. Because I don't think that there are really any checks that they could have for Slurpuff at this point. So we're going to go ahead and use Spore on Feraligator just to avoid any heavy damage coming off from it. And then Belly Drum with Slurpuff. So we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Light Screen goes off. Setting up the Light Screen is very interesting. So Special Defense raised. Fortunately, we do get the Belly Drum off. And that is going to proc the Citrus. The, okay, it's going to max out attack first. Okay. And that is going to proc our Citrus Berry and then proc Unburden, which means that it has maxed out speed. So, uh, Ice Punch hopefully going off, yeah, does go off on Amoongus, it's gonna do lots of damage, but not quite KO, so we do use Spore, Spore does go off successfully, and guys, I think, I think that we might have just set up successfully, guys, I think we might have just got it. Um, we're probably gonna lose Amoongus next turn, but if, if all goes well, then we might not really care about that. So, we're gonna go ahead and use Giga Drain on Feraligator, just because... And then we need to get rid of that Meowstic, because it's a setup Meowstic as fast as humanly possible. So, Feraligator is actually going to go back. And Muck is going to come out. So, Muck has the poison. Muck's going to be a problem. Thunder Wave going off probably on Slurpuff. Yeah. Uh, because that's the only way that this is going to go well, I'd assume, for them is if... Uh... Yeah, that's... Dead. Dead. Gone. Nope. So we have maxed out speed again, so this is going to be really, really painful for our opponent here. Alright, so... It's good stuff, it's good stuff. We're getting a little- we got a little bit of HP back, uh, the... Black Sludge unfortunately going to fully heal Muck, but we're getting our HP back, it's fine. We got this, guys, we got this. We already took one down, we're already up, we're already up. And if all goes well, that thing will not wake up. That thing will not wake up, and... We can use Giga Drain on it, and we can use Play Rough, no, we'll use Return on Muck, because we want to get rid of Muck as fast as we can, because it will kill Slurpuff in one hit. It might actually be a better idea to substitute, but we don't want to risk the paralysis without any possible decent outcome coming from it, so we are going to go ahead and use Return on Muck. So Slurpuff uses Return, it connects. think that should do a decent amount of damage. Not a whole lot, unfortunately. Slurpuff is probably going to die here. Unfortunately, Slurpuff does go down. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. 
little unfortunate. Not sure why I returned it so little damage, but I guess it happens, so. We'll have to check that out, actually. That's a little weird. Um, so we are gaining our HP back, though. So this is good. It's, a good. it's good. It's very good. So we're against a Muck and a Feraligator. So I could send out... Okay, it does have an Ice move, though. So we don't want to send out Dragonite. We could send out Dragonite. It might be able to tank one of those moves, proc the weakness policy, and then be able to take him down. Unfortunately, either way we go here, we're going to probably end up sacrificing someone, because Feraligator really is a powerhouse right now. Probably should have play roughed it and just gotten rid of it for the sake of getting rid of it, but unfortunately, we did not do that. So I'm going to Extreme Speed and Giga Drain, just to ensure that we get some solid damage off on it. This should take it down pretty low and then okay it stays asleep this is good this is good uh, minimize no you're not doing this you're not doing this oh you are kidding me right now Giga Drain is going to KO for alligator so again we're get we're up there we're up there we're still we're still technically winning at this point unfortunately muck is gonna get pretty ridiculous with the evasiveness that he's going to get and he does have the unfortunate black sludge there, which means that we can only bank on hitting some seriously heavy moves on it and not on the little chip damage going off. But uh, we can we can deal with we can deal with Sceptile. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, does Spore work on? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done that in so long. I haven't tried Sporing. Never mind. Okay, so Sceptile is going to be the Mega, so I'm kind of scared of that. Y that's not good. Detect. Okay, okay. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use Fire Punch here. That kind of sucks. Minimize is going to go off. That really sucks. I'm not going to lie, that's terrible. But, yeah, so, so Muck avoids the attack there. We really need to get rid of that septile fast because if we can do that if we can do that then we can just bank off of hitting a couple moves here and there even with the increased evasiveness so I could have dragon dance there and we would have been easily able to come back but unfortunately I did not so we have to kind of oh the dragon pulse is gonna hit hard it might KO I don't think it will no it, it doesn't so we're good weakness policy is gonna proc and that is probably going to mean the end of Sceptile there. So, Fire Punch is going to connect, and Sceptile is going to go down. So, Sceptile, yeah, it just, it didn't stand a chance. I mean, come on. So, another Minimize here. If we can land a Spore, then it just might save the day for us. But I don't think that there's any way... Okay, Spore does land, so we're good. We're good. Uh, don't need to worry about any more Minimizes or anything. Uh, Toxics or whatever, so... Now we can focus on Soul DPS. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be switching out of Moongus into, well, our little friend here, Lando. 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 Lando's going to come out, and then we're going to Outrage. Because Outrage, Boosted Stab, really will do a ton of damage. And I'm not too worried about anything else coming out of Muck. Unless it wakes up, like, right now. But I don't think it will. Intimidate goes off, not not anything we don't need to worry about that on muck anyways so we'll, we'll just hope for an outrage to hit because I think that we will probably end up getting an easy KO off of that but we could we can do we can do knockoff to get rid of its healing and it avoids it and outrage but outrage connects we'll see how much it does I think it'll kill it will. So, we take our first match of Battle Spot Blast number three. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Fantastic. 3-0 and as well. Very, very happy with how that went. So, hopefully we can get another match that won't goes exactly like this. I have to say, um, the inspiration for the, using the uh, Slurpuff there is from someone from the stream by the name of Renku. Whoops, did not mean to do that, so we'll go head back over there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, by the name of Renku. Renku used that against me. It was ridiculous. I got destroyed. I actually posted a video about it last week. It's actually the highlight, so um, 
the most ter the most terrifying Pokemon I've ever seen, or something like that. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. It is it is a uh, pretty interesting interesting thing. So uh, we're we're getting back we're we'll we're getting back the losses that we've already ranked up because of the glitch and not because of our actual skill. Okay, so now we're going up against someone that actually might know what they're doing. That's a little unfortunate. So it is a very meta team, except maybe the the Volcarona is interesting and the Gastrodon is interesting, but the Terrakion, Salamence, Zapdos, and Ferrothorn are definitely things I'm used to seeing a lot of. So we're, we're definitely taking Dragonite right off the bat to get rid of Ferrothorn. Um, we can t and I guess we could take Conkeldur. That would get rid of Terrakion easily, and it would get rid of um, Salamence, and it would get rid of Volcarona. So I'm all right with the and possibly Gastrodon. So that's looking like a dream team right there. So Dragonite and Conkeldur are going to lead. Uh, we could go for a Slurpuff setup, but I really don't feel comfortable with that considering Terrakion's such a heavy sweeper. Salamence huge DPS. I mean, uh, Volcarona's heavy damage as well. I'm gonna go with Sylveon with the Pixelate, um, Hyper Voice, and Lando just to bring up the rear with possible. Uh, Possibly, well, no, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe we should go with Amoongus, because Amoongus' only check on that team could be, well, would be Volcarona, obviously, for obvious reasons, but could also be Gastrodon and Zapdos. So, in this case, we might actually want to just take Lando instead, because Lando would be solid damage on Volcarona, on Zapdos, on... Yeah, yeah on Volcarona and Zapdos, which is really what we need. So no Slurpuff, no Moongus in this one. And I think this might actually go kind of well. I'm pretty excited to use Sylveon. Have not used Sylveon yet. Very, very defensively built. So we'll see how it goes. But the Sylveon's very, very, like, ready to go. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. Gastrodon and Volcarona come out to start. I think I know what to see, or I think I know what we'll see on... Gastrodon, not too sure about Volcarona to be honest. Really not too sure about Volcarona at all. Or, well, no, actually, sorry, sorry. Just, just forget I said that. I think I know what we'll see on Volcarona. I'm not sure about Gastrodon. Uh, we could D dance, but that's risking it so hard, and we could see something ice out of Volca or out of Gastrodon. So, I think we'll go Outrage because. I think that's probably just the best way to go about it. And I guess we can we could knock off we could knock off one of them, but I don't know. I don't know. It might be better to just mock punch and take the free damage or ice punch and just go for some free damage as well. Um I'm going to go with the mock punch on Volcarona. We'll check out its defenses and see how good it is. Um Volcarona uses protect. Okay, okay, so the Mach Punch is not going to connect, unfortunately. The, uh, oh, Double Protect. So, I could have just went for... Dang, that sucks. That sucks. I could have went for a D-Dance, and then we would have a setup ready to go for us. Uh, I am going to Outrage here. We are going to Mach Punch. We're, we're just going to... Well, no, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should just... We should just go for the damage, Volcarona, with... Um, with knockoff because it will do a significant amount of damage it will definitely do a significant amount of damage just not nearly as much as it would do in other cases Volcarona is gonna rage powder did not expect that very interesting so outrage is just gonna go off anyways uh, do lots of damage to Volcarona here but it is it does have a rocky helmet Wow I was not expecting that knockoff is probably going to kill here so Volcarona does it go down it doesn't go down what Excuse me, Ice Beam gonna go off on Dragonite. Unfortunately, that's gonna KO. God, no! No! Why? 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 Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess... I guess we could send out Sylveon. I guess we could send out Sylveon. We can Mach Punch Volcarona. It'll do some damage to Kinkelder, but... I'm not too worried about that. We could call mine because I think they're probably gonna switch out. Not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it'd be better to just hyper voice and then go for whatever damage I can get off on it. But we will not punch Volcarona because that is very important to get rid of at the moment. Volcarona uses protect. I am done. I am so done right now. Done, done, done. Double protect. 
could have went for the setup with Calm Mind. You've got to be kidding me right now. You've got to be kidding me right now. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. So, I could have Calm Mind there, but we are going to Hyper Voice and Mock Punch as well. Uh, just get rid of Volcarona by any means necessary. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. Mock Punch is going to connect with Volcarona. And Volcarona is going to go down. So, that's what we needed primarily to happen this turn. So, that's good. Hyper Voice is going to go off. And it's going to do just over half because it's a crit. So, the Earth Power is going to go off on Kinkelder. That shouldn't do too much. It really didn't do that much at all. So, I'm happy with that. That was a good turn. We definitely eliminated a threat there. Ferrothorn coming out. Very interesting to see a Ferrothorn. I think, despite the damage that's going to be done to it... We're going, okay, we're going to protect because obviously Ferrothorn is going to be using something that is going to do some serious damage to us. Drain Punch is going to go off on Ferrothorn, though, because or serious damage to Sylveon. Drain Punch on Ferrothorn, get some HP back. Uh, obviously, it's going to be taking some damage due to um, its ability, but we will survive, hopefully. Protect on Gastrodon. Possible Protect from Ferrothorn as well. No. So the Drain Punch almost KOs, does so much damage. Mach Punch next turn is going to be great. Iron Barbs is going to do some damage, but I'm not too worried about it. There's no way it's going to do that much. Gyro Ball going on Sylveon, just as I suspected. And we'll be able to take him out really easily next turn with Mach Punch. So that puts us in a fantastic position right now. So we can we can Calm Mind right now. Or we could Hyper Voice and almost take out Gastro. But we'll Calm Mind, we'll Calm Mind. Because I think next what is what we're going to see is Salamence. So we'll Mock Punch Ferrothorn and uh, Calm Mind. Ferrothorn uses Protect. Gastron's going to get some damage off here either way, so I don't know what it's going to be. Mock Punch not going to connect, obviously, because Ferrothorn used Protect. But I figured something like that would happen. So Calm Mind is going to start up and boost Special Attack, Special Defense. So I'm pretty happy about that. Earth Power going to go off on Sylveon, but it's reduced damage does like nothing. Does like nothing. So we're f we're in a fantastic position right now, guys. This is really great. So right now we're going to we're going to just do the expected thing. We're going to mock punch Ferrothorn and Hyper Voice. Because it's boosted. I really don't think there's a lot of hope for my opponent, but I've been proven wrong before, trust me. Well, you've seen it before, obviously, because the last couple matches have been a little bit weird. But, okay, with Drew Ferrothorn, probably, probably for, yeah, Salamence. Okay, so we do see the Salamence come out. So I was good to use Calm Mind there. That was a fantastic thing to do. It's going to do a lot and a lot of damage to, uh, to Salamence. It might, it might even KO. I think it might. I think it might. I think it just will. I think it just will. Calm Mind boosted Hyper Voice should just KO. Okay. So, we definitely are in a fantastic position. There's literally nothing this guy could possibly do except get some crazy hacks for like two turns in a row maybe. And that that would that would have to happen. It'd be have to it'd have to be two turns of misses or something I haven't seen yet. And that's just not going to happen. So I think we got this in the bag. And we will be 2-0 for the day, which would be absolutely fantastic. So Sylveon and... Oh, match was forfeited. Okay, good game, good game, good game. Uh, we won 3 and what would be 3-0, but... Uh, fantastic. So we did well. We did well. That was a good game. So that about wraps this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You're fantastic. You're amazing. Thank you so, so much for supporting this series. It's been a lot of fun to just do this, and I love Battle Spot. I love doing all the different ladder rankings and stuff. Rating mode is just fantastic, and I've just been getting better at it. I've been learning more and more, and, uh, you know, I think, I think I'm able to give you guys a decent viewing experience f with the knowledge that I've tried to absorb so uh thank you guys for watching again have a fantastic day wherever you are and yeah i'll see you next time peace